high video and let's break down your fun animations. So, uh, you've captured the form quite well. So, let's tackle the spacing in few places. So, if we look at the spacing closely, there are some parts that can be improved. So here this frame is pretty okay, and this one is okay too. Uh, if you look at that closely, and this frame, you can notice something's going on, especially from this frame to this frame. If you look at the reference, uh, we still continue the upwards motion, the fire going up and only then slowing down while here, if you pay attention you see it goes small so here it goes to the left but here it goes to the right side then it goes to the left side and it goes down and stops and then jumps and you see Instead of a gradual deceleration, we get jumps in spacing. So it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And the same thing, the same problem on the other side. So it goes 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, but here it goes 1, 2, 3, you see the form became very sharp, then you see it suddenly jumps, goes in the opposite direction and slows down, stops, suddenly accelerates, so we get a very inconsistent direction and a very inconsistent spacing in some parts. And the same thing happens with some other particles. So you see, it has a very clear curve. And here it starts with a curve, but then it suddenly stops, goes up again, stops, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this has the most noticeable issues. So there are issues with spacing. The form is quite close to the reference. It's just the position of the shapes isn't that precise. See, it suddenly stops, suddenly accelerates, goes to the left, stops and goes down, goes to the left again. So yeah, let's look at the next one. So, some of the same problems here. You've captured the shape language, uh, but the problem is that uh, some of the parts are a bit inconsistent in terms of spacing. So again, have very clear spacing on the reference. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. have slight acceleration here and then it slows down so the problem here is that it goes it goes you see it suddenly accelerates and it stops 
then accelerates and then it stops. It just disappears. Again it goes, it goes and then it stops. So it goes in the opposite direction suddenly. Then it goes up again, goes and then the mass disappears too fast. The difference between this and this is too big. So it's kinda hard to understand what's going on here. And you see this bubble goes small, huge, smaller, huge, huge, small. So it jumps between bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller bubbles in one frame. While here, if you look, it's a very slow, gradual transition. So it kind of starts and grows. Here it just goes from this, to giant leap, to slow down, to smaller form, instantly. And you see, because of that, the motion, so it goes here, but then it goes here. Because of that, the motion is not very consistent and less readable than it could be. Again, nothing changes, nothing changes, suddenly a huge leap. And again, nothing here again. So you need to give it more time to develop more time for edges to change and for holes to form because if it happens in one frame it's very hard to understand and notice this motion kind of just happens and you don't even notice that again it goes one two three four it has this gradual change It can have some acceleration, but before that acceleration, we have some build up, and then we have some deceleration. So, as for the sketches, I would say that you can simplify it way more. And let's try that. So, let's see. For the initial fire. The problem here is that this design is still very symmetrical. If we break it down into shapes, uh, you'll see that. So this mass and this mass are actually very similar in terms of size. And this is very symmetrical scene and you can see that this is essentially a very, very symmetrical design. So if it's some kind of fire we can add way more cows and emphasize the direction We can make something like this. We can do for. We 
can go for a different design. Use this initial shape. And for example, go for something like this. Way more simple, way easier to handle, but still kind of nice. Maybe something like that. So then it should break into particles some stuff of some sort. So this part may rise up. This part starts breaking to particles maybe. This part may rotate. I'm turning this into a concept of my style of fire, so just bear that in mind. You don't have to do it exactly like that. I'm just showing the thought process, so this part goes up, becomes this, this part goes up, maybe becomes this. And some particles start forming. And then for example, this particle starts shrinking even more. trying to get more interesting shapes. So this goes up, becomes this. Again, trying to support the imbalance. And a symmetry.
expands and this part also turns into particles of some sort and there are just some leaks of flames at the bottom So you feel like this is a progression and ideally, yeah, it doesn't have to exactly feel like a storyboard, uh, but you have to feel how the masses will be going in the actual animation. Because with, with this one, it's kind of very hard to get the idea, especially with the last stage, and the second scene is that the design isn't really consistent, so you get a lot of repetition here, and the forms that are very uh, bland in some in some ways in terms of design because they're very symmetrical, sort of cut in half. So you can work on that. Same thing here, so we can add way more dynamic motion there, way more interesting transitions. So again, trying to emphasize the motion and the direction of the shapes, defining what kind of shape language you're trying to use. and simplifying it to our best ability so this then if it spirals like this then this will go even further down the spiral Probably turned into particles. This will go and spiral. Again, this will also spiral. We can even make this motion way more extreme. Maybe spiral, spiral around the cent center, which is here. So it goes here. Masses go here. And kind of repeat this arc. Arch. So this is this mass. this turns into this and then we have the last sort of flickers of flame so again trying to break away from the repetitive design and if the fire is suddenly getting pulled away from the center it's very important to keep in mind how 
this will affect the masses and their motion. Maybe they will rotate, maybe they will continue to spiral upwards. Maybe then it slowly or we have some kind of build up where the fire is suddenly blown away from the center. These inner forms can rotate along the form and across the form. Don't forget that this fire is still affected by the air, so it's still going up, most likely at least. Then we can start thinking about what kind of shapes and what kind of volume do these do these shapes have when it starts to be breaking into particles, broken into particles. Because fire, it's still not flat. It has volume. It has some position in space and that affects the form So this is better, but some of the points that I expressed still apply here, so there is still a decent amount of repetition and symmetry. These elements kind of mirror each other, 
and they still divide it almost in half. In terms of particles, it's better to simplify it a bit. And again, same type of particles in terms of size, you can push it even more. With this one, these shapes are kinda nice, uh, but these shapes on the next frame are sort of very different. Generally, most of the time, you want one side to be more complex than the other one if you have a specific direction, because if you have a specific direction, that means that one side is affected by force more than the other side. And most of the time we want to emphasize that somehow. And having one side more detailed than the other one is one way to go one way to show that So it sort of expands 
and turns into particles. So, next up, the actual fire. So, the first half is a bit repetitive, but sort of okay in terms of motion. Uh, but then it goes a bit too hard to get, because there is no consistent motion and everything moves as fire like fire is some kind of solid, like everything is connected and moves at the same time. So again, we can make it interesting. So it goes one and it can really simplify the design to make your job easier. So you see, it is very repetitive and very straight. And it would be way more interesting, interesting if you'd make it way simpler, but at the same time give it some interesting forms. And it kind of makes a perfect curve here uh, which is a bit unnatural so if it goes one two three four five six seven for example closes off on a curve or something like that it would be a bit more interesting instead of forming a perfect curve right away. And then it suddenly jumps. Stands and goes rampant. I guess you can really simplify this. And try something easier and maybe shorter. It can break into particles at some point, and this will make it feel even more like fire. Because fire does tend to break into particles, it doesn't stay solid all the time. For 
example here can start really thinning out maybe breaking into some particles So I hope that helps and explains something and wish you good luck, as always. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them in the comments in the chat. <laughs>